steel structures dominated views that had remained largely unchanged since Victorian times. When Isambard Kingdom Brunel began building the Great Western Railway in 1838, he believed a modern railway could exist in harmony with the landscape it passed through. Nowhere was that more evident than in the Thames Valley at the Goring Gap, where elegant Victorian viaducts carried the railway across the River Thames. Nearly two centuries later, these structures remained listed and admired, set within the Chilterns area of outstanding natural beauty. In the 21st century, that landscape was permanently changed, as Network Rail completed the electrification of the Great Western Main Line, heavy steel masts, gantries and overhead wires were installed through the Goring Gap. A standard urban design was applied to one of England's most sensitive rural environments with little adaptation. Local residents, parish councils and conservation bodies raised concerns. Supported by the Chilterns Conservation Board and local MP John Howell, Campaigners argued that the railway had a legal duty to conserve and enhance the area of outstanding natural beauty, which carries the same status as a national park. From viewpoints such as Hartslock Nature Reserve, the visual impact became unmistakable. Steel structures dominated views that had remained largely unchanged since Victorian times. Even Network Rail's own environmental report warned of serious adverse visual effects yet the project went ahead largely unchanged. 